Hey guys, Michael Marchand, your Choose to Win Licensed Coach, back with you again. Happy Friday. And I want to talk today about opportunity. And specifically, are you ready for any opportunity that presents itself? You specifically, you as a person. And I'm not talking about winning the lottery, quitting your job, buying a million dollars, <laughs> anything like that. I'm talking about real life opportunity. And I want you to just stop for a second and think about that. Now, are you ready for an opportunity? When I ask you that question, what do you think? Now, if you had to think for more than about five seconds, and the answer is probably no. But I want to give you some examples, some real life examples that I've come across since the pandemic started. There has been a ton of opportunity out there, and certain people have been willing or able to take advantage of it. Some people have had the means to take advantage, but haven't been willing to take the risk. Some people have had the willingness to take the risk, but haven't had the means. So a lot of people made a lot of money. An example of that is a client of mine. At the start of this pandemic, there was about a two-month window where real estate just bottomed out. There's nobody knew what was going to happen. We know historically in the long run that real estate is generally a really good investment and it always comes back. So my client with that in mind went ahead and purchased a property. Now, two months from the day he purchased the property, home value started skyrocketing and he almost instantly within those two months made a $30,000 profit on a less than $200,000 house. So are you ready for an opportunity? If you're not ready for an opportunity, then there's a good chance that you're headed towards a disaster. And an opportunity, I've given you some examples of those. What is a disaster? A disaster could be any number of things. It could be your house. Maybe your house has issues. Have a pipe burst and something floods. Your car breaks down. Your pet gets sick. Uh, School, now that school's back in person, it could be even the added expenses of traveling to and from school or purchasing school clothes and school supplies, things like that. Now, by definition, the disaster is a sudden calamitous event that brings great damage, loss, or destruction. The key word I want you guys to focus on is sudden. Now, you can't predict it. You don't know when it's coming. So just like a great opportunity, you don't have a roadmap. You don't have a calendar of, hey, on this day at this time, there's going to be a disaster. Or at this day at this time, there's going to be an opportunity. Now, the reality is that we're heading down a road, and that road is eventually going to fork. One way leads towards opportunity. The other leads towards disaster. And I'm going to give you guys four keys to making sure that you can take the road and continue down the road towards opportunity and stay far, far away from the road towards disaster. The reality is, guys, that if you hit that fork in the road, it's too late to make a decision at that point. The decision has already been made for you by the choices and the things that you did leading up to that point. So I don't want you to get caught in a position where you're headed towards a disaster and you can't control it. I want you to be able to selectively take opportunities as they come along. And I want you to be able to take advantage of those opportunities that bring you closer to your end goal, towards your dreams, and towards a life that you ultimately desire. So don't believe me that you're going to hit a fork in the road and go one of these two ways. Give me 60 seconds to convince you. Now, according to Forbes, 73% of Americans live paycheck to paycheck. And according to a survey they performed, the average unexpected expense is $3,500. Now, I don't want you to get the idea that money is everything. Money is not everything. But like Sig Ziglar said, money is reasonably close to oxygen and that you need it to live. So given those two statistics, the odds are that if you're living paycheck to paycheck, you probably don't have $3,500 to spare for an unexpected expense. And given that life is unpredictable, if this last year, year and a half has proved anything, it's that you can't always predict what's coming. All you can do is be ready to react either proactively or reactively. That means that you're either going to be able to proactively take advantage of opportunities or you're going to react to the disaster because you haven't been prepared for it. And again, if you fall into that 73% of people that is living paycheck to paycheck, then there's a pretty good chance that you're already on this road here towards disaster because you're living paycheck to paycheck. And the odds are that you cannot afford an unexpected expense of any size, which means that all your time and all your energy is going to be towards avoiding or averting that disaster that you find yourself in rather than moving forward. An opportunity is just going to pass you right by. How do we make sure we are prepared? Now, I would say the first thing, probably the most important thing that you can do in any situation like this is to get clarity. I want you to get crystal clear on where you're going. Uh, big picture, to find your dreams, to find your goals, to find where you want to be, where you want to end up. Because if you don't have a destination, then you are ultimately never going to be able to tell where you're going, for one. 
And you're never going to be able to tell how close or how far away from it you are. You're never going to have any kind of a gauge if you get off track. So these don't have to be personal. These can be for yourself. It can be your personal goals. Maybe it's your family goals or maybe it's your business goals. Whatever it is, the same principles apply. There's four things you can do. I'll call these the four keys to making your dreams a reality. Now, the first thing I want you to do, now that you have clarity, you have at least a general idea of where you want to go. That can be, again, family, personal, business, whatever it is. I want you to take that and I want you to get really specific. I want you to change your perspective on it. And I want you to actively picture yourself in the middle of that dream. Picture it as if it's here and now. Picture it as if it's today. I'll give you guys an example of that. One of my dreams has been to own some property in the mountain. I love having a place that I can go visit that has mountain views that's my own. You know, I want something that's my own because it's an investment in my future. So one of the places that I love is Tennessee. Now they have the Smoky Mountains there. They've got the Four Seasons. You can go snowing, you can go hiking, you can do all the outdoor stuff that I love to do. So about a year ago, I started this I started to do this for myself. I envisioned myself in the Smoky Mountains. I envisioned myself standing on my back porch looking at the Smoky Mountains in the distance. I envisioned myself sitting in front of the fireplace in the winter. I envisioned taking my whole family there and spending time in our home in the mountains. And as of last week, we are under contract on a beautiful three-bedroom place in Tennessee. Now, this is not something that happened quickly. It's not something that happened overnight. It actually took an eight months uh, that I have been working diligently to make this happen. But it started with that vision, that clarity. I knew where I wanted to go. I knew where I wanted to have a home. I knew what I wanted it to look like. And I pictured myself. And now that picture is very much in the realm of becoming a reality. Buying a second home in another state is a big Thing. And I couldn't just go out and do that. I didn't have a pile of cash sitting around. I had to get financial stuff in order. I had to do my due diligence and research to make sure I was knew what I was getting myself into, uh, make sure I wasn't going to run into any issues once I purchased a property. So I had to take that big dream and I had to break it up into a bunch of small steps. That was step two. And step three, this is where the rubber meets the road. Now, step three is arguably probably the hardest because steps one and two, you're in a sense still in your head and you're on paper, you're planning. You haven't taken any tangible um, steps in that regard. So start before you're ready is step three because starting before you're ready, you can plan until you're blue in the face because until you take that first step and actually start taking the steps that you have laid out in step two, so you can break that big dream into small steps, but if you never actually start working those steps, then you're never gonna get there. And then the last one ties into this because you're probably never gonna be completely comfortable through this whole process. You're not gonna be where you wanna be to start, and that's why you start before you're ready. And you're probably gonna get halfway in and realize that there's stuff you don't know or didn't account for, and you're gonna be uncomfortable. So get comfortable being uncomfortable. That is okay. That is where all the growth happens. All the growth happens when you are uncomfortable. If you're living constantly in your comfort zone and you wait, to the point that you're completely comfortable to start, then the odds are that that opportunity will probably never come or more likely it's already passed you by and it's not coming back. So I don't want you guys to miss opportunities. I don't want you to wander aimlessly, but I do want you to live an intentional life and make your dreams a reality. So follow these four keys, avoid disaster, move towards opportunity, and let's have a life worth living that can impact our generation and those to come. Okay, guys, that's all I got for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, now I talk a lot about clarity, and that's one of my favorite things to do is to help people get clarity. So if you're watching this video, you're not sure. You're saying, okay, I like the sound of that, and I can buy into what you're saying, but I don't know how to get clarity, and I don't really know where I want to go. I don't have a big picture dream. Now, I would encourage you that it is up to you. Nobody else but you can take this next step, and that is to reach out to me because I offer a few complimentary strategy sessions every week. Now, I only have a limited number of these, and when they're gone, they're gone, but they are complimentary to you. It's my gift to you to kind of help you take that next step, and during this strategy session, we're going to take a deep dive into who you are, what you want, your goals, your dreams, your desires, 
And when we come out, you will have a big picture game plan and we will have some actionable steps that you can take to get there. And again, this is complimentary, but I can't do anything until you guys take that first step. So get off the sidelines, go here to step three, start before you're ready, and I will help you with the other two steps. Anyway, guys, that's all I got for you. Have a great weekend and be sure and come back next week for more. Thank you.